This week we had a very fruitful uh, workshop here in Bangkok. We had the participation of uh, around 10 senior policymakers from uh, different countries, at least 10 countries from Asia and Africa. The main motivation was to provide participants with theoretical and practical foundations on strategic pricing of medical products and uh, pharmaceuticals. Mm, because we believe that since countries are developing and transitioning from assistance, they need to strengthen their own capacities for uh, regulating prices or for allocating uh, finite resources and limited resources in their own settings. Strategic pricing of medical products matters to UHC because in order to expand the number of people entitled to healthcare services, to increase the basket of services and reduce the out-of-pocket expenditure of the population, we need to strengthen capacities to control prices and reduce what is paid for medicines and for technologies in order to be able to be more efficient and be sustainable in the long run. There are like two main broad categories for strategic pricing. One is one related to direct interventions that will control and reduce prices. For instance, uh, international reference pricing, internal reference pricing, and value-based pricing. And there is another broad category that, although has no direct, direct impact on the prices, but support pricing strategies. For instance, markups, taxes, regulation, a risk sharing agreements, generic substitution, amongst others. The key challenge with pricing in Ghana has to do with high medicines prices. Um, prices of medicines in Ghana are considered high, I mean, compared to international reference prices, compared to other prices in other similar markets. Lower prices would help us to actually cover more services and run the insurance for a longer period in terms of sustainability. So that is a key impact. We want to be able to um, ensure that the insurance is sustainable. So we need to bring prices down in a way. There's another challenge and that would be that when it comes to pricing, there are a lot of interests in pricing, cutting across several stakeholders and everybody has an interest in price so that in itself makes interventions around pricing a very sensitive issue and some of the challenges that we have specifically on the drug pricing is of course the affordability although we have the law the cheaper medicines act the prices of medicines in the philippines are still high so under the UHC, we hope to address it by uh, institutionalizing an office which will strengthen and regulate the mandate of medicines pricing. And some of the mechanisms which we hope to do to address that is to use the uh, drug reference indices and the regulation of markup, uh, that's one, and also uh, of course, the institutionalization of HTA because it will be very important for decision making. And then, of course, the next challenge is the promotion and use of generics medicines. Although we have been uh, implementing this law, the consumers are still not that confident in using generics. So under UHC, we will strengthen and promote the use and awareness of generics. And we will require the drug outlets to make available all generic products at their stores at all times and provide the consumers the list and prices of all generic products whenever they buy their medicines. Kenya uh, took a very robust and bold step in introducing UHC and we all know UHC is not a cheap uh, is not cheap and UHC is a journey so if it is a journey we cannot get there immediately so it requires very systematic process um, predictable process of reaching 
our, our goal of 100% uh, coverage, both for services, the population, and, and the cost. We then, therefore, require very informed decision. So strategic pricing is going to help us, one, to uh, maximize on our efficiency as a country, as well as ensure that within those efficiencies, we are able to guarantee highest return on investment in regards to whatever we are taking on board uh, as a country so that we start building our sustainability with the little resources that we already have but we maximize on the efficiencies then eventually we will be able to to sustain universal health coverage i was surprised to know that uh, there are at least five countries inside the room including the philippines are actually using the external reference pricing but then we don't have the proper methodologies and how and how to do it so maybe somehow uh, yes we started to use it but then we are not properly guided so I hope when I come back I would suggest to to, to develop uh, the methods on how we need to do it I've learned that it's very crucial and it's very important to carefully select which reference countries to choose from is uh, it's very good experience to hear the experiences of different countries and uh, i've learned that uh, how each health system is unique, unique from the other and but i think at the end of the day what's important is how our limited resources we can be maximized to give the best possible outcome of well, particular interest is the price surveillance mechanisms that the philippines are doing and I think Senegal also has something. So we have seen something in our, in our African context in Senegal. We've seen something in um, an Asian kind of context in the Philippines. So these are two systems that we want to learn from. And from this workshop, we've had some of the linkages that will help us to learn from these other countries and see how best we can implement something similar in Ghana.